Welcome to a brand new video. I hope you guys are doing fantastic. But anyway, in literally minute time, Gareth Southgate is announcing his England side for the Ukraine and Scotland game. That is right. So I thought once he announces the side, I will break it down and see if they deserve that spot in the England side. So yeah. It's just another way of thinking games. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do hit that like button, subscribe if you're not already. And if you're enjoying these football vlogs, just hit the like button, man. But anyway, it's probably about time. So I'll get back to you in a minute when he announces the England side. And just like that, guys, he has announced the England team. This is the first time I've seen it. Let's break it down. So the goalkeepers, guys, you've got Sam Johnston, who, who, deserves that place in England so because he has been quite good for Crystal Palace already so fair play to him right there Jordan Pickford and Aaron Ramsdale before I get going with that where the hell is Nick Pope Jordan Pickford yet again his team sits bottom of the league and he's not been on form recently where is Nick Pope is, is Nick Pope injured let me know down below in the comments but I believe he, he literally played last week so I believe he's fit so why is Jordan Pitford inside, guys? Personally, I think Jordan Pitt I see why Pitford is in the side because say he's got a big mouth, he's um you know, he sort of shouts a lot during the game and stuff like that. But I believe Nick Pope is better than Jordan Pickford. Um Owen Ramsdale, yes, he he should be in there. Sam Johnston, he deserves to be in there as well. So but I'd have had Nick Pope over Jordan Pitford. So um I know he's never let England down before, guys. John Pitfield has never let England down. He's not been on form, is like to say, because Everton, they are bottom of the league. And last season, he wasn't very good either. So, my opinion, it should be John, Sam Johnston, Nick Pope, and Aaron Ramsdale. But anyway, it's not too bad, though. Apart from that, it's not too bad. So, fair play to them right there. In the defence, we have Ben Chilwell, who... Yes, he's played quite well for uh, Chelsea recently, so he deserves to be in that England squad right there. Cole Will, he deserves to be in there as well for Chelsea. He's uh, definitely one for the future, so he deserves to be in there as well because he's playing well, just like uh, Ben Chilwell is. Lewis Dunk, Brighton guys deserve some players in the England squad because they have played some good, good, good football recently. Lewis Dunk, he's their captain and he rightly, des rightly deserves that place in England setup because last time he got called up he got injured so he had so sort of missed out so I'm pleased he's back in there I'm pleased in there guys to try and redeem himself and try and you know get a few minutes under his belt for England so yes I'm really pleased about that one Harry Maguire guys Harry Maguire yes like I say he ain't playing for Man United at the minute obviously because he's down the peak in order but again like Pickford he has never let England down. He has always been there for England, played well for England in the World Cups, in the Euros and yes he's not been playing for Man United but I think he, because even Southgate said guys in the last press conference that Maguire has never let him down and that is why he's always in the squad. Personally I heard Southgate say before he only picks players who are on form and Maguire is not on form but again you can't really drop Maguire because he's is that crucial uh, key player in that dressing room. Next up you have Tamore who plays for AC Milan. Yes, I'm pleased he's in there because he gets overlooked quite a bit. Um, obviously because he plays for the um, AC Milan. So I'm pleased he's now overlooked. So I'm pleased he's now being looked at by Southgate because he is a very good player. He's still quite young. I think he's only about 26 now. So he's still got plenty of years left. And I'm hoping now he can sort of get down an England place. Because Kase is a very, very good player. Kieran Trippier, there's no introduction with this guy. He deserves to be in the squad. He is the Newcastle's like saviour man. He's their captain. Newcastle's best son in of the of a, in the past few years is definitely Kieran Trippier. He has done so so well for Newcastle and he deserves to be in there. His crossing, his free kicks alone, he always takes them and he always looks dangerous. So I'm pleased he is in that squad because he deserves to be in there because he is one heck of a player. Yes, he's 32 years old now, but it's a very important role for Newcastle and for England. Last defender in the squad, it is Kyle Walker. Yes, the fastest right back in the world, guys. He's for 32, 33 years old, but he's still the fastest right back in the world. And um, I see why he's picked him again, because like I say, every time he plays, it gives us that little bit of a backup for like pace. So like I say, say 
opposite team gets passes in defence, Walker can sort of try his hardest to get back and try and out sprint them to win that ball back. So every time he's in defence, I do feel a bit more safer. So um, I'm pleased he is in the England squad because now, yeah, I am pleased he's in the England squad because he is a vital player for England. We are now moving on to the midfield. Okay, so we've got Trent Alex Arnold. Yes, my opinion, guys, Trent can't defend and I'm pleased he's put in the midfield squad here because I think he'll play midfield for England from now on because he's a very different player in midfield guys he's he's better at coming forward getting stuck in better at passing than he is in defense and I'd say I think his defending lets him down a bit but once he gets the ball and starts passing around he's a much much better player so I'm pleased Southgate plays him in midfield because is a very useful player to have. Next up, in my opinion again, I believe this guy will win the Ballon d'Or super, super soon. It is Jude Bellingham, guys. That is right, he plays for Real Madrid right now. He's up from Borussia Dortmund for £120 million. Pounds. He now plays for Madrid. He has literally scored three goals in two games for Real Madrid. And oh boy, guys, trust when I say this, he will be the Ballon d'Or winner in like the next three to four years he is a world again he is a world world class player so uh, um yeah he's literally only 19 years of age but he is so mature for his age and i believe him and his brother job will be the future england midfield duo so next up we have connor gallagher <laughs> again he is so overrated every single time southgate picks at England squad, he is always in that England squad. I say overrated, I think. He say he doesn't score many goals, does he? And he, 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 I watched him for Chelsea this season already. He looks a bit uncomfortable on the ball. But again, Southgate guys, he always seems to pick his players that he likes the most. I know. So yeah, so I believe Southgate does have favourites, and I believe Conor Gallagher is one of them. Because why the hell is he being picked? Yes, he still starts for Chelsea and stuff. But in my opinion, he is just just not good enough. Next up, we have a guy who has just moved to Saudi, it's Jordan Henderson. So listen to this, so Southgate said um, beforehand, or before all this happened, if any players from the England squad go to Saudi, he will not pick them. And somehow, and, and yes, and I don't know how, but he has picked Jordan Henderson. That is right, I believe Jordan Henderson is finished, guys. I believe he's there for the dressing room. Yes, like I say, Jordan Henderson's got a big, big mouth, and he's very important for that dressing room. But will he play? No. No, guys. Pick Henderson will not play. He'll just be there to like back up and, you know, sort of get that dressing room going. But, um, yeah, my opinion, he needs to move on from players like Conor Gallagher, Jordan Henderson. And the next up, we have Kelvin Phillips. I don't know why, guys. I don't know why he is picking Calvin Phillips. He had one good tournament that was in the Euros with Declan Rice playing CDM with him okay yes he was very crucial and very important that that tournament but now he plays for, now he plays for Man City he does not get a play he does not start he does not come on that often either and he's just sitting there on the bench yes he's winning trophies guys but he is not even playing so why is he why is Southgate picking players like Kelvin Phillips when he's not on form, he's not even playing. So why is he picking Kevin Phillips? That's all I've got to say about that one, guys. I believe he should not be in there as well. Our last midfielder of this um, squad it is Declan Rice. Not much to say about Declan Rice. He is by far our best CDM we have in the squad. Drew Bangalore just in front of him. Declan Rice just behind him, above the back four. You know, yes, it's a very good setup, and I believe Declan Rice is a very good player, and he deserves to be in the England squad because everything he does, he wins the ball back for us. So yeah, nothing bad to say about Declan Rice. He's just that player that always picks the ball up and um, starts the attack. So I'm pleased he's in there. We are now down to the strikers and attackers. The first one in the squad is Eze, who plays for Crystal Palace. Yes, I like this guy. He's definitely one for the future. He's skillful. He's good on the ball. And yes, I he deserves to be in there. He's not really he's not really played up say he's not really scored much this season already, but he has set a few goals up, but he just looked good on the ball. And that is what Southgate needs. Some like special talent. And he is definitely a special talent. Next up, we don't need any introduction, guys. It is Phil Foden, okay. So Phil Foden, yes. 
I've watched him this season already and he looks a different player to last season already. He, he's, same with Eze, he is good on the ball, he is um, skillful, he does score goals. Um, so yeah, again, like Eze, he deserves to be in that squad and um, Southgate likes these flair players who can like glide with the ball and he is definitely one of them just like Eze. Next up we have Jack Grealish. Yes, Jack Grealish, guys, it's Jack Grealish. Every time he's on the ball, we look more dangerous on that left-hand side with him on the ball because he comes inside and players do not know how to stop him. So that is why he's in that England squad. He deserves to be in there because he is, um, same with Phil Foden, he is quite a special player for Jack Grealish. Yes, he's not, he's not lived up to his 100 million price tag just yet for Man City, but he, uh, once he gets that ball on the left-hand left side, he can cause players and teams some serious trouble. So, yes, that is why he's in there, and I believe he should be in there. Next up is the England all time goal scorer, it's Harry Kane, who's gone to Bayern Munich. He scored four goals. He has scored four goals in three games. So, um, yeah, Harry Kane is Harry Kane, guys, all time England goal scorer. And, yeah, that's all I can say about that. He, with Kane playing, guys, England have a much better chance of winning games. And, uh, yeah, he's a captain and the top goal scorer for a reason. Next one, we have James Madison. Yes, like I say to you in my prediction videos for the Premier League, Madison, guys, is one of the best players on the ball. He's, um, he's He does so good on the ball. Like, that space he creates for himself to receive the ball is in incredible. Uh, Spurs have missed someone like James Madison because he's just that flair player who can turn a game into a match winner. So, um, yeah. I am pleased in there. The next one we have is quite a strange one. It's Eddie Enketia who plays for Arsenal. Okay, he has been scoring goals this season due to obviously um, just who's being injured, and uh, yeah, th th that's a bit of a surprise one for me, really, Enketia. But I'm all for it, guys. I, I am all for trying out these new players, and Enketia, he brings something exciting. So um, yeah, I've got to look forward to Enketia, man. So it'll be interesting to see what he can do for England in his next two games. Oh, next one is Marcus Rashford. Yes, he's always going to be in the side, guy, because he's just that player that um, does well and performs well for England. So that's like I say about Rashford. He should be in that squad, and he is. So I'm pleased about that. Our next one is Saka. Yes, Saka again is like... Phil Foden and Jack Grealish, like every time we get the ball, he is on it. He's like a flair player. He runs in the box. He um, cuts in the sides and he causes pro uh, teams hell of a problem. So, uh, yes, again, with like Rashford, I'm pleased in the squad. It, we are down to the last one and it is Callum Wilson, okay? Yes, Callum Wilson. Is, for me, Callum Wilson is very underrated. I... I actually rate Callum Wilson quite a bit, so I'm pleased he's finally getting this call up again. Um, so yeah, so I'm pleased Callum Wilson there because he's, yeah, say, you don't really start much for Newcastle now because Isaac's there. But Callum Wilson is a player that can come on in the last like, 20, 15 minutes and just, you know, grind it out and try and get him gold himself. And he, um, guarantee he will score. Every time he comes on, he scores. So I'm pleased he's in there, okay. But anyway, guys, like it's my little breakdown of the players who I why I think they deserve to be in there and why they should not be in there. So if you like this video guys, hit that like button, subscribe if you're not ready. But before I get going, I am very surprised about one player who is not in that squad. It is Raheem Sterling. Why is not why is Raheem Sterling not in that squad? He has played well for Chelsea in the in the first three to four games this season. So I personally believe Sterling should be in there. Take out, I know. Take out Kevin Phillips, or take out Jordan Henson, or take out Conor Gallagher. Put in an extra striker, attacker in Sterling, because he is such a good player, and I, I rate Sterling quite a bit. So let me down below in the comments, who do you believe should have been called up to this squad? So anyway, guys, thanks for watching today's video. I'll see you guys next week for a brand new video. Good, good, and good night.